Virgo, welcome. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Um, thanks for being here. We're going to go ahead and do your taroscope. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you decide to watch this video, this is when it will apply to you. Okay, keep in mind this is a general reading, so everything I say may not resonate with you. Take what does and leave what does not. If you would like a personal reading, you may contact me. My email's in the description below to schedule that. All right, if you do resonate with this message, you like these videos, I ask that you please leave me a comment. Let me know how it's playing out. Give me a like, all right? Subscribe if you have not already done so and share my content, videos, and channel with family and friends. There may be messages here for them as well. All right, those likes and those comments really help my channel, so I do appreciate all of you guys. All right, we're starting with the Moonology deck here to get your first message. You have don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. So some of you guys may be kind of trying to protect yourself from something is what I'm getting. Okay, then at the bottom of the deck, you have look at the bigger picture. So I'm getting there may have been something from your past that you're protecting yourself from repeating. You don't want some type of behavior or some type of situation to repeat from the past. And so right now you're kind of um, being prideful, you know, folk, you know, kind of being um i'm getting too much in the ego this is the astrology cards you got the sun your immortal spirit purpose and destiny is involved yeah so this you right now you're very self-focused self-centered at this time um and you have leo twice um leos are ruled by the sun all right um so right now it's telling you not to be so self-focused. At this time, you can be very self-centered, focused on yourself, a little selfish is what I'm getting. But I'm getting it's not intended to be selfish, it's because you're, you're protecting yourself from something. We'll, we'll get more into it, let's continue to pull the cards. This is the Energy Oracle. happy family that is what you desire but it's also what you fear is what i'm getting underneath you have hostilities so maybe within your home within your family um the family dynamic or relationship or something um there's been some fights some arguments some disagreements some hostility so your world, what it is that you know has been shaken. And right now you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to put on a brave face like it's not bothering you, but it does. Because what I'm getting here is family means everything to you. That the family is your son. Family is your son. Like everything revolves around the son in the universe. All right, um, the sun doesn't revolve around the planets. The planets revolve around the sun. And what I'm getting here is the family is your sun. Like you revolve around the family. The family is everything to you. So once this family dynamic is broken, you feel like your world is broken and you're trying to protect that. Um, this is the wisdom oracle here. Yeah, time to go, the number 45. Okay. Underneath you, ha you had this come in reverse, the tribe. So this is again, family. Your family, the family is in reverse, it's upside down. So the home front could have been the home front, um, something could have been turned upside down within the family. Like I said, uh, shaken, has been shaken. And it's time to close the chapter, it's time to let something go. 
All right, this is the Robin Wood Tarot. We're gonna get some more clarity here. Okay, but what I'm getting here is just cause something may not have worked out the way you wanted it to or something was revealed, like, um, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. I understand that you're trying to protect yourself maybe. Or maybe not, maybe you're not even trying to face reality because you're trying to hold on to this. You're trying to protect this so hard that you're letting your pride get in your way because you're not being realistic. You're more focused on how this is affecting you versus how this is affecting them, you know, wh whoever this is also involving. Yeah, the moon. Some um this is dealing with fears. There was a secret, but the secret has been revealed. Something has been exposed. And it was exposed fast. You may have be dealing with a cancer. Yeah. This was about someone who was in and out. Again, there's the family. This was about someone who was in and out. Someone who was not keeping the family together. Someone who was in and out, not committed, not the way that they needed to be. You know, you they. this was someone who, this is someone who was supposed to be, um, not glorified but that's what's coming up like a family member who kind of was like glorified was like the go-to person was seen as this knight in shining armor was seen as this savior this warrior this very strong person um you know but it was just an external thing and it really shattered the family dynamic Okay, it, the, it, it really, it, whatever this per this person could have been there and been the knight in shining armor and been the kind of like the rock of the family is what I'm getting. And, but they, their actions were in and out. They were in and out. It wasn't consistent. They weren't stable. They, they were searching and chasing um passion is what i'm getting they were chasing passion rather than commitment they were they kept looking like this is someone who who can't stay still for a long time this is someone who gets bored very easily this is someone who's always looking for more and what I'm getting is a third party situation. This person could have had a lover on the side and that's what was exposed. That is what was exposed. And this could have happened before. This is kind of like a, this is a repeated, um, I'm getting stuck for words. Like this is an, a repeated, events a repeated circumstance this was not the first time that something like this has happened um because it had to do with someone from the past so the you know this per this person may have fooled around with this person in the past and was supposed to cut ties learn from the lesson make things right and maybe they did for a while but then they went back to the same person because the same person is coming around. So this person may be a Leo or the lover may be a Leo or a Cancer because there's a lot of fire and water energy here. But the family dynamic has been turned upside down. There was a big family secret that was revealed something from the past has come to surface 
and someone is being shown for who they really are it's like there was red flags there there was behaviors and traits and stuff that you could have known or you know you could have put pieces together where you were trying to see the best in this person and now that it finally hit the light and all is out there and exposed it's just like you know it's is no more you know like you can't continue to have those rose colored glasses on because the universe finally put this person on the pedestal for you to see who they really are and it's for you to let it go to let the that perfect picture of this person go to get this person off the pedestal to realize who they are to move forward for you and not be stuck you need to move forward you need to leave the past in the past and let it go because this person is it's someone who gets bored when they get bored they're going to continue to look for more continue to look for passion it's like they could be content for a little bit but then they get bored they always need to be on the go they always need to be doing something and once they feel like that passion is dying with their partner then it's on to the next or it's trying to fill that void you know this, this is not a healthy it's not a healthy relationship okay so i'm sorry that this is what the cards show but it was exposed so that you can move forward or it was exposed maybe so you could focus on yourself or reprioritize you know um your son your your son that maybe doesn't have to be this person maybe you should be your son not this person i'm getting this person was your everything and now that this has been exposed and revealed to you like you don't know what to do with yourself but you don't make someone else your everything you need to you need to be your everything because you can't control other people's actions okay but then all i'm also getting make sure that you're not being like negative to this person or um you know saying hurtful things or doing hurtful things just because they hurt you you know don't be spiteful is what i'm getting don't be spiteful um be better than that okay so i'm sorry this is what the cards are showing okay a happy family is still possible but you need to let this go you need to let this go and clear this chapter you need to move on for from it once you move on from it then things will start falling back into place but until until you can do that then you're going to continue to be here and feel you know kind of in shambles and confused and angry and in this negative energy okay so just let this go move forward focus on yourself make sure your priorities are right don't make someone your everything you need to be your everything all right so i hope this is what you needed to hear please give me a like comment subscribe share and until next time many blessings